I'll be walking you through all my favorite pieces of jewelry. I feel like accessorizing is really slept on. Honestly, it can make an outfit go from a six to a 10. So let's break things down and start with the earrings. First category, hoops. I do not discriminate on any type of hoop. Although the shape is the same, I like to keep things adventurous by mixing up the textures and the styles. I like them chunky, I like them thin, I like them patterned, blinged out. I like them all. I have not met a hoop that I didn't like. These gold hoops are from Adornmond and are a classic favorite of mine because of the golden ball at the bottom. It just adds a nice sleek touch. Ah, moving on to dangling earrings now. Again, we've got a lot of variety, but can you blame me? Starting with these huge diamond square ones, they're a bit on the heavy side, but they can glam up any look. I've literally worn them with a simple tee and it looked like I put so much effort in. Then we have these cute heart-shaped ones from Peter Doe, an absolute must-have, and you can also open them up as lockets. Love it. Now these boho chic ones I got in Oakland in this tiny spiritual shop. They're actually from Kenya and they're handmade. These circle ones are from Jenny Bird and they are a serious repeater of mine. They're just simple and elegant and go with everything. These quartz earrings I got in San Francisco when I was still in the Bay Area. I don't wear them as much, but they still spark joy, so I keep them. So for my 90s kids, does anyone remember Clippy from Word? He would just pop up on every document unannounced and there he was. Every time I wear these earrings, they remind me of him. Personally, I think it's fun to take a break from all the symmetry in the jewelry world. I know mismatched earrings are sometimes an unpopular opinion, but I think they look so cool on. I would highly recommend everyone to venture out and mix it up. I don't have too many studs in my life, except for Ben, but I got these new pair of oversized studs from Peter Doe. They're the same build as the dangling ones, but they still function as lockets. Then I have these diamond earrings that I got as a birthday present from Ashley and Stephanie and I actually wore these classic beauties for my wedding. Moving on to necklaces, we're gonna start with chokers. When this trend came back three years ago, I hopped on it and I got all sorts of textures and designs. Depending on what kind of mood you're going for, these are a great way of adding a playful touch to any outfit. Chains have honestly been around for so long and they're just an everyday staple for me. I love switching from the dainty and delicate look to a bigger statement piece and so on. Plus the mini pendants are always an added bonus. All of my rings are pretty sentimental and they're probably, actually, they're the only one thing that you'll never catch me without. I have this ring from my first collaboration with Majuri. It's literally and figuratively linked with me forever. Then I have this Cartier band that Ben proposed to me with. He didn't know what ring I liked, so he started with this one. Smart guy. Soon after, we went shopping together and I got this ring as my official engagement one. A uh, funny story, I actually ended up losing my wedding band, but Ben lost his wedding band too, so now we're even. He currently has a placeholder though. Now this ring was gifted to me by my co-partner with Eggy. Eggy turned one last August, so this ring was a big thank you. The last ring doesn't really have a memory attached to it, but it's my only pinky ring and I do not know where it's from. Last but not least, we have watches. This is my Leonard and Church watch. As you guys can tell, I've got a huge thing for gold because it does a great job matching the warm tones on my skin. And then next up, this is one of my many Daniel Wellington watches. This one here is my favorite because of the rose gold accents and the white band. It's so chic. All right, everyone, that is a wrap for this video. I hope this inspired you to kind of unravel those necklace balls on your vanity or dust off some of your rings. I think it's a really fun way to bling yourself out and express yourself. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.